Topo Brillo Stereo Mixer version 2. It is an improved version over version 1. This is version 2. It's built like a German tank. There is nothing wobbly, clumsy, weak, or anything on this mixer. Nothing moves the way it not, it's not supposed to move at all. It's a great sounding mixer. And it's also the most advanced mixer I have in my case. My system is a little on the larger side, but I don't really have any good mixers in this. I have a quad VCA. I have a Tangle Quartet. I have the Bubble Sound Mix 6. I have a Samara and a few other things. But none of them is really like a mixer of some sort. They're mostly VCAs and do simple things. This is so far the most advanced I have. That does not mean it's the most advanced on the planet, but for me it is here. Now, it's a very great sounding mixer. There is no noise or hum coming out of it. To be honest, I do have some noise filters in the case, but this still does a great job. It's very simple and easy to use. There is not much to talk about it. Let's go over some of the controls. First, the common controls, then per channel. You start with the auxiliary returns, which are stereo, and you also have the level for the auxiliary returns. You get a plus 12 dB of gain available per line level sources. Next, you have the Q-Mix output. The muted channels, pop free, are bust to the Qmix for monitoring through headphones or at the Qmix output and it can also be used as a touch switched or activated A and B control for effects if you do some combinations on it. This is a stereo summed into mono output. Next you have the auxiliary scent. That's also mono, but I wish it was stereo, but it is what it is, and it's still great. You have the two main outputs, which are, these are actually post-master level fader outputs, unbalanced. And you have the master level. Right on this side, you have the VU meter. It's a logarithmic scale meter. And once you hit red at around 18 dBU, I think, and it starts clipping, you have the monitor switch between Q mix or main mix for monitoring through the TRS headphones output, which has its own level knob and you can also use it to record in the outside world online level devices if we go per channel controls you have mute and if you hold it solo you have level knob pan knob and the auxiliary sense knob and then you have the switches for post fader and when it's red pre fader. What that does, it's a completely different story. You have four CV inputs per channel. You have the line input, the actual signal. You have a pan input, which is summed with the knob. You have auxiliary input, which is summed with the knob. And you have level input all cv which is summed with the actual level knob now here i need to pay more attention what's happening is i wish this same as the scent to be stereo i wish this was not summed but it's also useful as summed if you run an envelope straight into the level it's a vca actually but what happens is you cannot use the knob to mix the signal because the knob is summed you're gonna get this animated signal by an envelope from the line 
from the level input and also the knob level going up as a drone. Now, on the other hand, if you already send a signal that's animated outside of the mixer, you use the VCA outside of this mixer and an envelope, and then when you plug signal in, key, in here, you can use it as velocity control from velocity or aftertouch or you can animate it with random and make it more organic or whatever you would like. Let me think if I missed something. No, actually, that's basically it. As I said, it's very simple, but it does a lot of things. It's a great, perfect mixer built like a tank. Next, I will do some jamming and how it sounds like and some examples of certain things and that will be it. But this mixer is great. The company which makes it, it's also great. Anything Topo Brillo builds is basically tanks. Thank you for this time. Uh, let's go on to some jams. Okay, return level at around 3 o'clock, that's where uh, unity gain is. On the level input, you have about 6 dB of gain. I don't know if it's enough to bring external line level in into Eurorack. I tried, I can do it, but I don't know, depends on where it comes from, I guess. Whatever the strength is on the outside signal. And also the pan is constant power law and what i had in that small sequence was all cv inputs controlling the mixer i have random into pan random into the auxiliary and random into a level the main signal is coming from ajh vca which is controlled by two contour generators by ajh and there is not much to explain about this. I just wanted to show how the mixer is controlled by each CV input. I'll play the sequence again and I will raise one by one the CVs going in so you can hear the difference. First, let's start with the volume. Three CVs are attenuated outside. Now pan. And now the reverb on the auxiliary. And also don't forget you have LEDs on the pan showing you constantly where the pan is at the moment. Now I will take out the pan, the auxiliary, and also the level CVs. And let's turn in some actual oscillator and show how the pre and post work. So if I shut the level in, on the mixer completely off and engage the pre-fader, that means the signal gets fully sent out to the effect and then back in the mixer. As you can hear it now, that's pre-fader, meaning before it hits the fader. 
If I disengage it, then you actually have to turn the fader up to get sent into the reverb or whatever effect you're using outside. And now it's without any level. So that's basically another small part of explanation and I'll go with a little more complex gem after this. So basically, that was a short video on the Stereo Mix 2 by Topo Brillo version 2. I hope I did not miss a lot of things. I probably did something. If anything, please comment in the section below. Ask or correct me if I missed something. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more. And also, more by Topo Brillo. A few things are coming out. So uh, let's see what they will be all about when they come out. Thank you for your time.